Hello my friends and welcome to a new series on the channel. This is Klonoa, I think I'm pronouncing that right. So this is Door to Phantomile. Phantomile? Phantomile. Phantomile. Any way you want to um, pronounce that, that's absolutely fine. So this game was a really prominent one in my childhood and I was convinced that there, it was multiple endings. Um, so there's no data. We're starting this fresh from uh, fresh from la la la. We're starting this fresh. So we're gonna enter our name. It's actually um, making me so happy because it's like blast from the past. Where's the H? Where's the H? It's a blast from the past, and it's so so colourful. And um, yeah, it's. Uh, I don't know. It depends on how you really look at the... I'm alright with everything. Um, it depends on how you look at the game as to what you feel the ending represents. Because obviously, it's not... It, it's really quite hard to explain without actually ruining the storyline. Um, so we're just going to head and... Uh, we're going to go ahead and play it. So, it's strange... Sometimes I can't remember my dreams, though I'm sure I saw them. Where do these dreams go? Where do they go? Ding. But I remember this one dream, as clearly as if it was reflected in the mirror. My little pretty butterfly! I just thought this cutscene was amazing um, back in the day when I first got this game, because I was like, <gasps> oh my god! You're a big fluffy... I thought that he was always a rabbit. But I could be completely wrong because he's got these weird ears that allow him to fly. He's got a collar on, so he could well be a dog. Um, I just think back in the PlayStation era, there was just so much creativity. There was so much creativity. It wasn't based around like real-life characters, like people. They genuinely made up characters like this. And just kind of kind of worked with it and I thought that was brilliant because it just I thought it was brilliant because you get the, like this little light thing with a halo and suddenly you're playing with him in a field what is this light thing what are you what is this environment they just created a massive entire world I mean like buildings like we have now you know, they're always in games, it's always about like war or stuff like that. They make it, they're, they're obsessed with re realism, they're obsessed with realism. And I find games like this so much more enjoyable because I'm like, it's a brand new environment, it's a brand new world, it's a brand new character. You know, now we've got like a, a blue bubble hat on. We've got a blue bubble hut. And we've still got the ring! We've still got the, the little diamond thingy! I'm excited. I'm excited. But no, that's my rant on realism in games. Because I just, I think that this is so much better. Oh, something's exploded. And we've got the lovely, lovely text screen. Right there. What? What is that? It's from Bell Hill. Well, okay, let's go and, let's go and investigate. Sounds like something crashed. It's just like my dream. Let's go, Hugh Pow. See, like they don't—they don't actually tell you what his name is. You just kind of have to kind of guess and read. And then oh, I've got the ring, and then I've got Hugh Pow. Vision one one. The beginnings of Gale. Breeze Gale. The Wind Village. There's something over here, isn't there? Is there something in here? Can I go in here? How do I? Okay, that's how I float. Ah, oh, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Amazing. Okay. Oh, okay. How did I do that? Oh, I was supposed to get up there. Okay, can I use you? Because I remember having to press the down button. Nope. That was not correct. God, them eyes are freaky. Hello. <laughs> All right, so how do I do it then? Do I jump? Press? No. We're going to figure this out. There's a way to get that little... Hello? How did I do that then? How do I do it? Is there another button? Do I press circle? No. Okay, that's definitely not how I do that. How about double jump? Can I double jump with these things? Is that how I do it? 
Yes, that's how I do it. Yes, we're f we're there. So, I mean, the enemies, you're not really quite sure what these enemies are. They kind of look like deformed rabbits, in all honesty. Ah, oh, okay, that can't be done. Can I? Nope, that can't be done either. Hmm. How do I... How about that? Nope. No. How am I supposed to get that, then? Hmm, hello. Can I do it this way? Yeah! No, that's not correct. Come on over. So this is basically, the first level is a tutorial on how to how to get the little things. That's still not right. How do I, how do I get you? There we go. Right, we've got the little egg. And it's just so bright and colourful and the music's just kind of... Hello, what are you? What are you? Nope, I can't... I can't go up. I can't uh, look up, rather, and look up and look down. Oh, hello. What was that? Was that a life? I'm not quite sure. I've forgotten how this game works, but it's just so fun. I just love it so much. Okay, so I'm supposed to get you. Double jump on your ass. Get that. I'm going to use you. Shall I use you again? Uh, that gem's not really worth it, really. And I, oh, there's time. Oh, yes, I forgot. There's a time time limit. Is there a time limit? Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, no. Wrong way. How do I do that? All right. And... Okay, so I have to jump. Okay. All right, all right. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. Oh, no, I haven't got it. I don't know what that is. I got it that time. I think that's a life. Oh, I failed on that jump. Okay. That's fine. Whee! Oh, that didn't work. So, you got your life. Um, can, I, can I get you? Yeah. Nope, wrong button. So, they don't, they're very quite forgiving if you make a mistake. Nope, nope. Damn it. There we go. There we go. Oh, they're puzzle pieces. I didn't even realise that. So you're down in the bottom right-hand corner. You've got like a little... Um, how do I do this? Uh, there we go. You've got like a little um, board that looks like a, a f wing, I guess. And um, yeah, halt. Who goes there? Here, up here. Where? Oh, hello. Old man, how dare you go through my tower even saying hello? Hold it right there. Harump. He looks like a dog. He's a dog. Hey, kid, you shouldn't come sneaking around here. Oops, I'm sorry. Hmm, apology accepted. I'm Baloo, the mason. Hello, Baloo. So, have you looked at my beautiful Lephis outside? It's my masterpiece. Lithis? Don't know her, eh? She's the legendary diva who sings the song of rebirth. No, I didn't know that. Kids these days. My voice is not going to be great. You see this tower here? I'm building it so that I can reach that moon kingdom. You see, that's where the Lephis lives. Oh? I wonder if it's really possible to reach the moon kingdom with this. Saloons! Yay. I think we should get going. Oh, okay. Uh, we gotta go. I don't know. These voices are just changing. I see. We'll take care. I will. Thanks. So long. Good luck, Baloo. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> I'm not going to be very good at the, the voices at all. Um, so, we came from this area. That's cool. Oh, is there anything around here, though? Nope. Let's get going! So, we're counting on. Oh, I shouldn't have used that for that. Fuck. Oh, oh, I can use the flying mawatsits. And double jump! Oh, oh! That's how I do the thing! Okay. Oh no, well, that's definitely not how I do it, isn't it? Um, can I jump on you? Oh, 
Right, okay, I've forgotten. I f I forgot. That was my bad. Hey, I got room. I'm not too sure if that was the right way to go about it, but I have a fairy now, apparently. What does that mean? Times two? Oh, shit, that means the gems. Oh, shit, I've choked. I need to get up here because I want to find out what goes on up here. Oh, that's such a shame. I'm probably going the right way instead of the actual scenic route. Yeah, I think I've gone the right way. Oh, what's this? Oh, I clearly can't get you. Can I get you? No. Okay. What am I supposed to do with you? Okay, that's fine. Let's carry on. So guys, we're going to end that there. This is the first episode of Klonoa. And as you can see, I'm going to pause that right there just because I can see the timer going up. So as you can see, it's quite a bright and colourful game. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope that you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, then drop me a like and drop me a comment. And there's other videos at the end of the annotations and in the links in the descriptions below that you may want to check out. So check them out and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye! We're going to select it and we're going to start a new game. My very first impressions is that it's very smooth. It's very pretty. Everybody um, that had a PlayStation knows of this game. It is an iconic, iconic series.